2,000 homeowners at the center of the province's property tax scandal have an extra three months to pay their property bills this year. They'll have until September the 1st. But there's a hitch. Some of those homeowners are confused about whether they're even in the group or not. And they're blaming the province for a communication that is so scarce, so vague, they can't be sure. And our Robert Jones has been on top of this story from the very beginning. He joins me now from the St. John Newsroom. So, Bob, the government says it has sent letters to all the homeowners affected, and yet the homeowners are saying they don't know whether they're in this group or not. How can there, at this late date, be so much confusion about who's in that critical group of 2,000 or more? Well, Harry, a lot of it has to do with timing. Of course, the, these letters that the government says it sent to these people was, were sent in mid-March when the service New Brunswick was really still trying to hide the nature of this scandal rather than explain it and so the letters that people got you know didn't say that uh, your your house had a manufactured assessment with a fabric with fabricated renovation amounts anything like that they did, it didn't even say there was a problem with their assessment it simply said that service New Brunswick was checking their assessment for accuracy and a law and then when the scandal erupted a couple of weeks after these letters arrived people didn't realize that the letters that they got related to this scandal now we're six weeks after these letters were sent and uh, people really don't know whether that original letter they got hmm. means anything or not and so they don't know whether they're supposed to pay their taxes on May 31st with everybody else or whether they have until September first to do it and a lot of confusion and they really would appreciate some more communication from Service New Brunswick to say yes listen you are in this group you do not have to pay your tax bill on May 31st. Well this has certainly proved to be a headache and a big one for the Glant government all week in question period. Uh, are they going to be able to get this particular genie back in the bottle? Well it's been a, a big issue now for over a month Harry and a part of the issue of course is taxes and the way that people were treated that's made it so controversial but also there's unresolved issues about whether everyone is told fully the full truth about what's happened here you for example uh, the premier on April 6th said he had absolutely nothing to do with speeding up this new assessment system he said look these ideas that it was blessed by the premier's office pushed by the premier's office is completely unfounded then four days later on April 10th we got this internal memo from Service New Brunswick that went out to all, all employees that said Premier Gallant requested our CEO to accelerate modernization efforts. There's been no resolution of these contradictory remarks. Who's telling the truth in these two uh, statements? We still don't know. Part of the reason why this drags on. And it will continue to do so. Thanks very much, Bob. Good talking to you. Robert Jones reporting tonight from our St. John newsroom.